Salute y'all. Um, today we're gonna be talking about DJ Vlad. Um, is going on Vlad TV dangerous? And I'm gonna say it can be dangerous, depending on how you answer the questions that DJ Vlad um asks you. Now, a lot of artists get on Vlad TV, and they talk about a lot of street stuff that they did, that they peoples did, and they don't think that it could get them possibly in trouble by doing this. But as we've seen throughout this past week with the whole Casanova two-time situation, the whole indictment, that, yeah, the feds is definitely watching Vlad TV. They definitely using uh, DJ Vlad's uh, platform as a reference to a lot of street stuff, a lot of street activities, and they're, they're locking people up. They're using it, you know, in, 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 in the cases, man, in cases to indict people. So people got to be very careful on what they say on DJ Vlad's platform and not just DJ Vlad, Vlad TV on any platform you go on. You got to watch what you say, especially a big platform like that. You have to watch what you say on Instagram. You got to watch what you do on all these social media platforms, because like I said, these people are watching. You got dudes showing money. You got dudes showing guns. You got to watch out. You got to watch yourself. And now if you don't mind getting locked up. Being away from your family, being away from people that you love, then cool. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you do, if you like getting money, if you want to keep emerging as an artist, actress, comedian, then you have to watch what you do. You got to watch what you say because them people is watching and definitely locking people up. We see the whole A Boogie situation. They, they raided his crib uh, last week. It's just it's just getting crazy. It's getting crazier and crazier. And not only that, when you flashing a lot of cash and doing a lot of different things, you attracting uh, people, you attracting people who don't have what you have. So they may want to rob you. They, you know, everybody want clout nowadays. So it's just crazy, man. People just got to, you know, watch what they saying on Vlad. Um, salute to Sue Surf, the battle rapper. Uh, when he went on Vlad, he didn't, um, certain questions Vlad was asking him, he didn't go for it. He was like, nah, I'm not going to answer that. And that's what, that's what. That's what a lot of artists should do if they want that exposure. Force him to ask you about your music and things like that or what you got going on um, outside of the street stuff. Don't go too far into the street stuff, but a lot of people fall for it. And then sometimes Vlad will go around that question and that he asks just to get you to talk about it. It's another tactic uh, DJ Vlad uses, but a lot of people have to be wise, man. That's why a lot of people, uh, certain artists... Did not go on his platform like like little reese from chicago didn't go on his platform because he knew all vlad wanted to ask him about probably was his shooting did he know who did it um stuff about you know street activities and and he just didn't want to he didn't fall for it he didn't want to do the interview so um yo artists just got to be careful with the whole and and the whole culture vulture thing as far as um dj vlad is concerned um to a degree I, I believe that you know he he just in it for um in it for self that's that's all you know he's in it for self um he's out to make money so that's what it is this this ain't this ain't nothing new so artists just gotta be smart so that's that's my whole take on a vlad situation more videos to come i'm out